Hello, welcome to BioGrade TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. How Political Parties Started in Guinea-Bissau The political history of Guinea-Bissau is closely linked to that of Cape Verde, especially from the independence era in the 1950s to 1980, by which time both countries had gained independence from Portugal. The African Party for the Independence of Guinea and Cape Verde PAIGC, was the major force that fought for the independence of both countries as the party nursed hopes for a united federation between the two colonies upon independence. The PAIGC went on to dominate the politics of Guinea-Bissau for decades, but nothing lasts forever as they say. In time, another party grabbed power from them. In between coups and transitional governments, the PAIGC regained power while the other party remained the strongest opposition. But all that changed recently when a new party sprang up and stole the show. The African Party for the Independence of Guinea and Cape Verde PAIGC, was formed on the 19th of September 1958 in Guinea-Bissau by Amilcar Cabral and his half-brother Luis Cabral both born in Guinea-Bissau to Cape Verdean parents. The party's sole aim originally was to peacefully campaign for the independence of Guinea-Bissau and Cape Verde from Portugal. However, when Portuguese soldiers on the 3rd of August 1959 opened fire on protesting dock workers killing 50, the party resorted to an armed struggle which became one of the longest wars of liberation in Africa. The armed struggle, which began in March 1962, was led by Amilcar Cabral. It raged on for 11 years until 1973, when independence was declared for Guinea-Bissau and for Cape Verde in 1975. Unfortunately, Cabral was shot dead earlier on the 20th of January 1973 by an angry PAIGC member. After achieving independence, the PAIGC became the sole legal political party in Guinea-Bissau, with Luis Cabral becoming president. One-party elections held in 1976 and 1977. Although the PAIGC hoped for a united Guinea-Bissau and Cape Verde, the union finally broke down after a military coup in 1980, led by Joao Bernardo Vieira against Luis Cabral, who had Cape Verdean heritage. The Cape Verdean branch of PAIGC became a separate party called the African Party for the Independence of Cape Verde PAICV. Multi-party politics was introduced in May 1991 and the first multi-party elections were held in 1994. Vieira of PAIGC defeated Kumbalala of the Party for Social Renewal PRS while the PAIGC won 62 out of 100 seats in the National People's Assembly with 46% of the vote. The Party for Social Renewal PRS, was established on the 14th of January 1992 by Kumbalala after the introduction of multi-party democracy in 1991. Kumbalala was formerly a member of the PAIGC. Lala stood as the party's presidential candidate in the 1994 general elections. Though he had the backing of other opposition parties, he lost to incumbent president Joao Bernardo Vieira by the narrow margin of 52% to 48%. In the parliamentary elections, the PRS was able to win 10.3% of the vote and won 12 seats. This made the PRS the third largest party in the National People's Assembly. After Vieira was deposed on the 7th of May 1999, the transition government under Malam Bakai Senha organized new elections. Lala again ran as the PRS candidate for president. He defeated Senha in the second round of voting by 72% to 28% and emerged as the country's first non-PAIGC president. 
the BRS also emerged as the biggest party in the National People's Assembly, winning 38 of the 102 seats. The PRS's time in power was marked with poor economic situation and political instability. Lala was deposed in a coup led by Verissimo Korea Sibra on the 14th of September 2003 and an interim government was set up. Since the coup, the PRS remained the largest opposition party in Guinea-Bissau until very recently. The resistance of Guinea-Bissau Bafata movement RGBMB, was once the main opposition party in Guinea-Bissau but as of 2020 is a minor party with no parliamentary representation in the nation's national assembly. The party was established by Domingos Fernandes Gomes as the Bafata movement in Portugal on the 27th of July 1986 after his childhood friend Viriato Rodriguez Pa was executed along with five others accused of seeking to overthrow the government of Joao Bernardo Vieira. The PAIGC government made attempts to assassinate the RGB leadership threatened by the party's rising popularity especially among the large population of expatriate Guineans in Portugal. In 1991, the name of the party was changed to the resistance of Guinea-Bissau Bafata movement RGBMB. The RGB became the largest opposition party in 1994 after the introduction of the multi-party system in 1991. It won 19 out of 100 seats in the parliamentary elections. In the 1999 elections, it got 10 additional seats, becoming the main opposition to the new ruling party, the Party for Social Renewal. The RGBMB was part of a coalition government but pulled out in January 2001. The party began to fall apart due to internal crises. A faction left and formed a new party, the United Platform Alliance, in 2003. In the 2004 parliamentary elections, the party lost all its seats. It did not participate in the 2005, 2008, 2009 and 2012 elections. When it did in the 2014 parliamentary elections, it got only 1.6% of the vote and failed to win a single seat. The PAIGC was the ruling party in Guinea-Bissau until February 2020 when Umaru Mokhtar Sisoko Mbalo of the newly formed Movement for Democratic Alternation Party was elected president. Madam G15, officially the Movement for Democratic Alternation, was founded by former members of PAIGC in 2018. It is named after the 15 members who left the PAIGC to form the party. In the 2019 legislative elections, which was the first election the party participated in, it recorded impressive wins, gaining 27 seats, the second most seats of 102 seats. On the 28th of February 2020, Umaru Sisoko Mbalo, a member of Madam G15, was sworn in as president of Guinea-Bissau after winning the election against Domingo Simos Pereira of the PAIGC. What have we missed out of this history? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.